Hello, this is David Burton with University of Missouri Extension, and welcome to Neighboring 101. Just to give you an overview, this is one of the offerings in what we call our Engaged Neighbor Program. That program includes various aspects, things like Missouri Good Neighbor Week, which happens in September and October, or Won't You Be My Neighbor Day on March 20th. Uh, it also includes something we call Lawn, which stands for Lawn Art with Neighbors. That happens in April and May. And then other special class offerings that come up throughout the year, as well as our signature Neighborhood Leadership Academy that happens statewide in the fall. Each of those things are a component of our Engaged Neighbor Program. It also includes Neighboring 101, which you've enrolled in. Originally, the idea was for Neighboring 101 to be a five-week class. We had a special curriculum set up, and the plan was to rotate through that with new class members each time. But when we first offered Neighboring 101, by the time we got to the second session, we had over 200 people enrolled and people from all across the United States. We discovered there was a real hunger for this topic, a real desire to understand it better, and a desire to network with people that have this shared interest. So, the plan changed. We went from a five-week course to just making it an online, ongoing uh, discussion with different guests and topics and class members about what they're doing in this space that we call neighboring. And I define neighboring as the art and skill of building relationships with those that live immediately around you. So we look at how uh, different research impacts that, different programs statewide, how different cities and groups are getting into this space of neighboring, and sometimes also placemaking. We include that. So that's how Neighboring 101 came to be. It is a great entry point into the overall Engage Neighbor program that's offered by University of Missouri Extension. Uh, I think the networking aspect of it is very important. During our 101 meetings each month, we encourage people to use chat and build connections with others that are in attendance. I think just the uh, things you can learn from how other people work to improve their neighborhoods is valuable. And it's also important to know you're not the only person out there with this interest. We are all striving to find ways to create neighborhoods that are clean, safe, and friendly. That's an important component of what we're trying to do. I would say that nothing benefits communities more than connecting neighbors, growing social capital, creating a sense of belonging among those residents in those Missouri communities, whether rural or urban. Now, when you register for Neighboring 101, you pay a one-time fee, and you get access to all of the past class videos and announcements about all the classes that are coming up. And so some of the other key things, the key benefits of enrolling in Neighboring 101, whether you're uh, doing that in 2023 or another year, you do get access to all those past class videos. I think that is an invaluable asset. You can see any of our interviews uh, from people with cities or other organizations. It's a wealth of information, and that list is provided to you every month by email, so you can click on the links that you want. Those videos are on YouTube, but they are unlisted, so the email is the only way you get access to those videos, and you only get that email after you register for Neighboring 101. As a person who's registered for Neighboring 101, you also have exclusive access to our monthly online class. This is something that happens during the noon hour on the third Thursday of every month. You can listen to our guests, you can ask questions. During that, it's a, it's a great program and I would encourage you to make time to attend that online through Zoom once a month. Um, you also receive a monthly digital newsletter 
by email that focuses on neighboring and neighborhoods. You also get access to me through my regular office hours and coaching uh, schedule. Uh, there's a designated day each month. That it's the Friday after our Neighboring 101 classes that I'm available for office hours, whether it's coaching or uh, discussing the the guest or the topic that we had or uh, networking with other people or going through ideas that you have in your neighborhood. I'm available by Zoom, and that's only available to those who have registered in Neighboring 101. You also get special access to the resources that we provide for Missouri Good Neighbor Week. You also get early notification and notices about special classes that come up during the year, including our uh, Neighborhood Leadership Academy. So an example of a, a, a special class coming up, there's an opportunity here in March to learn calligraphy. It's part of a Love Your Neighbor program in partnership with the Hopeful Neighborhood Project. And we're teaching people calligraphy so they can put that to work in their neighborhoods, on their sidewalk, on their doors or windows for Won't You Be My Neighbor Day, which is March 20th. So as a member of Neighboring 101, you get exclusive announcements about that. You get opportunities to apply for scholarships for the Neighborhood Leadership Academy that's offered statewide. And you'll get access to other bonus materials when those become available on video. And I make those exclusively available to the Neighboring 101 members. And then you also have the joy of being part of a growing network of engaged neighbors across the nation. Uh, as of today, when I'm recording this video, February 17th, uh, 2023, we have nearly 700 people enrolled in Neighboring 101. So you're part of that group, and we're glad to have you. Welcome to Neighboring 101, and welcome to the Engage Neighbor Program by University of Missouri Extension.